Okay, time to take a look at the Yaffe Dehumidifier. Now it does say this side up. It also has a message on the top saying that you want to have this upright for 24 hours before you use it the first time. Now that's good because what that means is this is a refrigerant style dehumidifier. If you want something that's actually going to work very fast, this is the style that you want. But it does mean that if the box came and it was tilted on its side, you want to stand that up for 24 hours before you use it for the first time. Okay. So we have our drain hose. This is a nice thick drain hose as well. So that is reassuring. We have our instruction manual. Nice, it actually has handles on the side so that we have something to pick it up by. Cool, and it has wheels. Okay, and this is awesome. Not only is this Energy Star rated, this is most efficient 2023. So not only is this a refrigerant dehumidifier, which is gonna be very effective, this is also a very energy saving dehumidifier. So efficient and effective. So let's have some tape on here to make sure that nothing is gonna come apart in shipment. The water tank contains a drain pipe connector. Okay, cool. So the way this is gonna work by default, this is the water tank. So it's going to pull moisture out of the air. It's gonna dump it into this tank. Now we don't want this thing to start overflowing. So it's got a little float right here. Whenever this float gets too high, it's going to shut off the dehumidifier so it doesn't overflow. Good stuff. We also have this little connector. So that will attach to our hose. Now we can plug this into the back of the machine right here. So if you wanna just set this thing up and let it run and we don't have to worry about draining the tank every once in a while, we can throw this on, run this to a drain, and then as it fills up, it will just automatically drain itself. So it is nice to have options. That is very sleek looking. We got a pretty nice looking interface here on the top. We got power, mirage, filter, fan speed. I just noticed by looking in here, this isn't just a standard fan. This is actually a full on impeller in here. So this is gonna be able to push a lot of air, which is something that's very important for a dehumidifier. In order to pull the water out of the air, it has to be able to push air. And this one will definitely be able to do it. We're gonna adjust the fan speed, low, high, medium. This will tell us what the current humidity is. Then we got up and down so that we can set it to whatever kind of humidity we want. We're gonna adjust the mode so we can set it kind of a preset running condition. We can set the timer. So if you just want this thing to run for eight hours, and then shut off we can do that we can also lock it and it has an indicator right here to tell us if the tank is full now the other thing i really like about this is it actually has a window right here so we can see physically what the water level is so we're gonna have to keep on popping the tank out to check it we can actually see it right there on the front so i was just unwinding the cord and i saw something i've never seen before this is a really cool idea it actually is a spot for the plug so whenever you get done winding this thing up instead of having this hanging off somewhere where you're going to be stepping on it and bending the prongs you can actually just stuff it right in there that's really cool. I wish more equipment had that. That's a very good idea. So we'll power it on. So we can set the humidity level that we want. Right now it says that it's 34% humidity in this room. If we want to bring that down, okay, we'll just call it 30% humidity. So this is a fairly dry environment. So let's see if it automatically kicks on. And it does. So it's reading the humidity level in this room and that's excellent. What that means is it's gonna take it all the way down to 30, then it's gonna shut off. So that's probably part of where that energy star rating comes in because it's not just gonna be running constantly and using up energy for no reason. It's just gonna set it right where you want it to be. There's a lot of air coming out of here too. It's actually kind of cool, which is very nice. So right now the fan speed is on low. Medium. And high. Even at high, that is not producing a lot of noise, especially for an impeller style fan. So that is great. Go ahead and put that on low. Sleeping area. Okay, so right now it's saying for sleeping area, it's gonna use a 55% humidity setting. For living area, it says 50. For basement, 45. And then continuous is gonna run it constantly. For the timer. Okay, so you can set this for anywhere between 1 and 24 hours. So you can leave this thing in a room, let it just run for 24 hours, and then come back. And that way, even if you know you only want to run it for a day, but you have to like leave town or something like that, you can come back and you're going to know that it only ran for one day. So you're not just going to be using power for no reason. Look at that. It already brought it down to 32% humidity. 31. That's crazy. This is extremely effective. Okay. So... It's kind of surprising just because I live in the desert, so it's naturally very dry in here. You saw up there it was 34% humidity when we started. 34% humidity is very dry. The fact that it's able to drop it even lower than that is pretty impressive. Most dehumidifiers can't do that. So right now it is at 30. Let's see if it shuts off on its own. No. Oh, okay. Well, apparently it was off. <laughs> 
so it actually just kicked back on. But that means, yes, it does. It, in fact, shuts itself off automatically and then turns itself back on as needed. So that's excellent. Wow, it is uncomfortably dry in here now. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta shut that thing off. Okay, that is extremely effective. That is a very nice dehumidifier. Uh, just in case you want proof, we are at almost 29% humidity in here. That is insane. So the thing to keep in mind is that when you get a certain amount of water out of the air, it's hard to get even more water out of the air. Like the air can only contain so much water. The fact that this was able to do that, and more importantly, the fact that it was able to do it so quickly is genuinely surprising to me. Like this does not have any business being that good. Most dehumidifiers that can do anything even close to that, this thing could easily compete with a dehumidifier that costs way more. So yeah, I am super happy with that.